Hello everybody, welcome to, um, I think this is Andri's Chaos versus Chunter's Halflings in the round of 32 in the season 39 CCL playoffs. Joining me in the booth is Muppet Pac-Man, hello. Hello, hello. Well, uh, this may be a short game, but we could enjoy it. Yeah, this is really rough for Chunter, isn't it? He's got a wizard, he's got a chef. Which the you know has has worked on too, but then Andre got a, got a reroll from the uh, from the kickoff event, which you know kind of made his chef a bit worse, and he has gone for Puggy. I quite I quite like that actually going for the uh, an extra apple. I kind of like going for Puggy in the uh, apple and chef or whatever over good stars because you good stars can just get claw pumped out anyway, can't they? Yeah, you might as well have Puggy running about. Yep, deep kick as well is not what he needs. This is pretty... It was a good grab though. It's what we might see in a Blood Bowl 3, all the grabs and fouls. Yeah. Good example. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Andrew does have the tackle. To yeah, deal he's with got, the... yeah, he's got a tackle for me. He hasn't got a lot of tackle. To be fair, he's only got three. He's got a Rackler tackle on his ball carrier, which is really great to be fair, because then if someone random rando fling bases him, you can just tackle him. Tackle him off. He knew. He was ready for this halfling team. He was like, I need tackle. <laughs> Before two heads as well, he was like, I need tackle. Yeah. It's fair enough. Oh! And there's, a, there's a dead halfling. It was the round of 32, Pedro. Uh, Winner of this plays the winner of Yak and Rick. So at any point here, do you just think, oh, I might as well hit the trees? Uh, when you're completely dominating them, then you'll hit the trees with Clawpaw. But until then, you can keep, you know, you can keep them based with a with a rookie sometimes, so they can't toss toss off a halfling. <laughs> but it's only if you're getting like a super easy hit on them that isn't. You know, it isn't costing you. Like you don't want to twat. You don't want to be twat magneted. You can uh, tree blitz here and then punch this guy, can't you? And get a nice little thing going down the side. Oh, the sneaky get DP is annoying me. How lucky that is. <laughs> yeah, that's class. That's classic chunter, isn't it? Takes, take, take sneaky get first, then, uh, then get. Dirty player. Oh, he's got to stand firm though, so that makes that plan a lot worse. Flip me, guys. Didn't think about that. You got a one D in though. I don't. I, I don't like this. I think you had to go there and one D this guy. Oh, just dodge away. You can just dodge away, I guess. And sadly, the uh, DP is movement free, so uh, yes. you can't get anything for. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a 1 in 9 into removal, which is a bit horrible because obviously he had to do that to get the assist on before the foul, and now his DP is going to get tackle pond um, and removed probably. Because <laughs> obviously, if, you, if a halfling gets tackle pond, it's almost certainly removed. Things are going to get removed fast enough. It sucks when you also get removed after dodges failed. Yeah. So like here he could he could claw on the tree because he's already got two people stuck on it, right? So yeah. it's only another guardian and then he can two D the tree if you want. So like it's times like that that you can do it when it's not even cut yeah, now you might just go in now with it, just claw on the tree. It looks like it. Yeah. When when you just ran like he based them on purpose, didn't he? Yeah, it shouldn't have based a couple but there you go, Kaz. Good night. Oh, there's the apple gun. I guess yep. not half and a half and so much. Tree could uh he could blitz with Puggy and Pow and then Tree could lob Super Flame. I think that's the play here. Well, oh, it looks like we're going down the edge, but we're not we don't have enough room, do we? No. No, oh. I I think he had to throw there. Like it's obviously you'd have to power stand firmer, but go back and throw. You move ten, so like you're basically guaranteed guaranteed the chance to and I think by not scoring there now he's relying on dodges 
which we've seen fail. <laughs> Do fail. <laughs> the first one fails, and now he's getting three diced by tackle. Well, it was a good run while it lasted. I'm sure he had fun with it. Yeah. <laughs> it's turn three. And, uh, I don't see much hope. Wasn't much of a game, was it? So he does the safer thing of hitting with a core pom. Um, it's interesting because, you know, obviously he could have just hit with, hit with somebody else first. And if it failed... Like, I quite liked hitting with a strength guy. Because if he sidesteps down, then you can hit him with tackle. If he sidesteps up, then you can still hit him with that. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I think I would have tried to have get the hit, the hit on this guy with your tackle combo. He's like but a deadly halfling, but he's dead anyway. He's just done it anyway. <laughs> and Apo's failed, and that is GG on turn three. Woo! No, this team's dead and open now. What a shame. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean that that's it, game over with the super fling out. And uh Andre is is good enough to not spoon it from here. So we've had six minutes of a game, and now <laughs> let's fill it up with twenty four minutes of pointless bullshit. <laughs> so how are you today, Chet? <laughs> Woo! Fall force, get in here. <laughs> <laughs> this is the game we need fault force. <laughs> yeah, this is this is fault force time. Chunter is not making the next round, he's lost. <laughs> yeah. Because we didn't do the throw last round, or well, last turn, there's just no chance to do the throw anymore. Yeah. Like, that tree's getting based every turn. Yeah, yeah he and he can afford to claw pump it now. He doesn't even need a claw pump puggy. Like, you know, like, obviously he could, he could just, uh... He's not claw pumping anyone, bro. Oh, he's gonna surf. He's just gonna surf the other one. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, easy. So, uh, who was scoring him? <laughs> yeah, it's a good question, isn't it? It's the only decision we need to make this game. He's got six SPPs to allocate. Um. Shame we can't get block on that other backup bomb. Yeah. Maybe he just tries to score twice on him and then, uh, you know, make Kaz with him as well. All the vanity passes if he was elves. <laughs> he might do him now. He's got rerolls and he might not get him uh, any more rerolls after this. The chef is still activated. Oh, he's oh, fireballed. He oh, that was. Worst wizard I've ever seen. <laughs> One out of five. He's caught him oh, with nerves of steel. And he's got the wheel. Alright, so he can he can just uh, make two dodges and two GFIs and throw him into the end zone. No, Phil. Did that tree have break tackle or was that the other one? No, it's not a break tackle, it's just been 6 plus 5 plus, 2 <laughs> 2, and then hope that you magically scatter him into the end zone. <laughs> I didn't say it was a good idea. It was the only idea. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Welcome to the uh, game that's already over. <laughs> He's dead. Doesn't it? <laughs> Hello, PC. Hello. This was a short one, over in three turns. We could have done this yesterday. Yeah. And then still got to the live game. Yes. It did take forever. Oh, well this is... Yeah, I wish, I wish we'd done the... Uh, we should not done the live one yesterday, but never mind. Yeah, that drained me of all will to ever play Blood Bowl, I think. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've been trying to talk myself into it there, and I just keep going, nah, do you know what? That door handle is loose, it does need fixing. <laughs> <laughs> it's been loose for like five months, but now it needs fixing. Today it was urgent. <laughs> <laughs> yes, gosh. Now you can claw on the tree, can't you? When it's the only thing left standing. <laughs> no, you can't! <laughs> it's down on its own. <laughs> 
<laughs> and to be fair, that's a time when, when blocks should have been optional, right? Um, in this situation, you could have rolled the boat down, and then you would want block to be optional, so you could take the boat down and not get claw pond. I mean, it doesn't matter, because you're not, you're not playing the team in open. But... No, but you know, like, it, it, it matters, that kind of situation, you know, he, he could have been 2-0 up at this point. Yeah. And he could have, uh, you should, you know, block technically should be um, optional. So, I didn't uh, catch up on Chunter's last few games. Did he get all stunties in? And then um, just pick off ones? I don't know. Uh, no, he didn't get the goblins in. Oh, shame. I don't know about the ogres. Fix goal, saving the day! Sort of. <laughs> He's getting fouled again. Well, delaying the day. I think it's probably yeah. right. <laughs> Um, the Orcs ended up winning on turn 24 of overtime, Pedro. It was a perfectly stalled 24 turn game. Yep, and the Orcs coach name is Drag, which I've never seen a more appropriate coach yeah. name. Because <laughs> boy was that game a drag. I have tried to be Little Billy positive this season, I've really tried. <laughs> But neither of them displayed any desire to actually attempt to win the game at any point. <laughs> Even in overtime, where the uh, touchdown ends the game. Like and it just got wearing to watch. <laughs> yeah, it was really you could, uh, you could put them both in a game and be like, okay, first touchdown wins, and it still would have ended like that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So he's still got 10 players, he's still technically got a chance. Yeah. I mean, yeah, some awful dice, he's only got one reroll. He doesn't have 10 players, he has two trees and eight halflings. Yes. I wouldn't describe any of those as players. Yes, but he should what have had his wizard, he, sh he shouldn't have spunked his wizard away, because, you know, there's a chance. His only, yeah, his only player was super fling. I mean, there's a couple of sort of alright flings, but there's no strength in depth on this team, and without super fling... You, you worry what, if anything, they can do except die in large numbers. Yeah. I don't even know who that bribe is good for. <laughs> he could have been called Big Draggy Draggy Shit Shit. <laughs> oh, Team and Taylor, I'm not trying to tell lies. If, if things are not good, I will try and be honest about that, but I'm trying to make sure it's never about the human, just about the blood bowl they're displaying for us to look at. <laughs> but yeah. when I see good things, I'm trying to say that too. Turn full Artemis. Oh, he hit yeah, the that blitz. It, come on, that was an that was an outlier for quality of love ball on offer. Why didn't he blitz the other one? Oh. The human race, let alone the challenge. <laughs> um, one He's not Oh, he did do the one D. Yeah, you can just. Why Why have 2D? Hey, Skulls. See, See already, already, if he'd kept that fireball, he could have got a 5 out of 5 fireball here and he yep. would have been in with a chance. I, I hated Chunter using that fireball, to be honest. The, the yeah, I... Lost. You just give up the drive at that point and go, I'll win next year. Yeah, game. absolutely. I thought it displayed an optimism that is typical of his play, but not necessarily realistic for the on-pitch position. Yeah. Nope. Oh, the chain pushes. I don't know what it achieves, but it... It achieves a blitz on the ball with a, uh, with a tree man. Exactly. Lies and <laughs> deceit. Well, look, there it is. Except it right there, next to the ball now. <laughs> yeah, he's covering up all those half things. I can't even see them anymore. I mean, he did 2 plus 4 plus, didn't it? But he, and he, but he double won the stand-up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like three two pluses and a four plus. But yeah, that was sloppy from sloppy from uh, Andrew, wasn't it? Yeah, it's, it's typical of when you think a game is won and you slightly take your eye off the ball, don't you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure anyone could have done that mistake. And a position that looks safe, you suddenly look at it and go, hang on, what the hell am I doing there? <laughs> and then your ball disappears in a flurry of elves. 
However, luckily, this is just half legs. <laughs> Even in the hand of a coach like Crystal Hunter. Yep. You can't be positive about half wings. <laughs> Um, yeah, it just easily win against Goblins being Gary. Easiest game of your life. I don't know. Goblins are OP, I've heard. They're not. <laughs> no, they're really not. Um, on, I, I, it's not in my interest for people to beat Goblins being Gary. So, no. <laughs> no. Um, I, don't, I don't have any at all. You should give up and concede if you face <laughs> Goblins. He's chores to be fair, so I don't... Throw them the ball and then run away into a corner so they don't hurt you. Oh, he's yes. chores. Yeah. I mean, it, generally just basing basing the gobbles is a good strategy, isn't it? And then they're, they're looking at one in nines or trying to punch you and they're not very good at trying to punch you. And, you know. They're not one very good nine. at one in nines. <laughs> no, exactly, yeah. yeah. That one in nine doesn't mean you'll get nine dodges before a fail. It means, of course, more like four dodges before a fail. So it means every turn, if you have four or five goblins based, they're going to fail something, almost certainly. And you're chopped, so you have tackle. Then you'll get to mash them in the face. And if you can drop that one in nine to a one in three, then they're going to fail it well, all the damn time. Yep. Well, he's still trying, isn't he, Chunter? But he, I mean, he yeah, he is. You know, there, there may be another shot workable for a tree. Maybe an internet outage. You know, there's all sorts of ways this can still change. <laughs> yeah, internet outage is definitely the number one wheel. Still only one wheel? Double scores? Quad scores? That's good. It might simultaneously need the death of the entire admin team, though. <laughs> <laughs> It would have to, at the last minute, be replaced by an emergency drop-in crack team of rebel admins. <laughs> who could then deem this to be really quite undecided and need the replay to happen. Views expressed in this stream are not supported by <laughs> the rebel oh, admin team. <laughs> both of them. Look, there's a pow. And another oh. halfling dies, presumably. Yeah, that was like just a, KO'd. That was a huge pow, right? Because if that was a push... Yes. And then this guy, like, dub skulled. <laughs> um, <laughs> that one, then that one had a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, things could have really servers good. forgot that other one existed. <laughs> then he could have two dies on the ball. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see any problem with this. That's why you get so cross, Jim, is because you're such an optimist. But when all of these ridiculous things don't happen, it's like Flicky expects just perfect dice every turn of every game. Yeah. You haven't quite sussed yet, that's really unlikely. Go on, one more. Boo. Not mocking things at all, you know, I mean, it's just a fact that it's it's really hard for them, isn't it? Yeah, and for this game to work, Super Fling still had to be around. They had to start getting on top of the chaos rather than almost entirely the other way around. They had to be up in numbers, they've been continuously down in numbers, and the trees had to be effective rather than decorative. They also had to buy steal all the rerolls and not just leave them with one or two. Yeah. 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 That. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's also a great place for the uh, ball carrier to have tackle. <laughs> yes, exactly, yeah. Yeah, it's been pretty crucial. Like that, that ball carry having tackle is really, really nice for the, the chaos. I don't know why it is, but when you looked at this matchup as opposed to the matchup against the Orcs, where you thought, oh yeah, Chunter's probably got a chance in that. You looked at this and thought, yeah, not so much. I mean, I, there were our ways it could have got done, but they all revolved around Superfleet being alive. Yeah, yeah, I, th I thought he had like. He foolishly know. isn't. Yeah. Super Fling and all the inducements that to like do the best job they could ever do in their life. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I if Super Fling's all right, you can you know you can cope with a bolt, and then that just has to work. It doesn't yeah, have to kill anyone, for example. If the trees can bang a couple out, you can get up on numbers. You can put some tasty fouls in. Yeah, like it's I mean, easier. It's easier to high roll chaos, work. isn't yeah. it? It's, it, it's easier yeah. to high roll chaos because they're armor eight, so. So there would have been the chance of just devastating the dirty player and mighty blow hits yep. and stuff. 
<laughs> yeah, but once you've taken a couple off the field, suddenly the AV9 isn't as much of a problem. You can get enough assists around it. Mm. You can break that reliably too. But it just, you know, you need to get it rolling, and it never got rolling. Yeah. Cause Although, I mean, it's, a, it's a big ask against the team that's developed. Kess still only have arm eight on most of the games, so it wasn't outrageous. Yeah, it's why, I mean, I know the chef is fantastic, but perhaps the answer isn't, perhaps the answer isn't something else hitty. You just need to bang I things down and then foul something out right. every turn. Yeah. And perhaps reinforcing with another tree or something might have been the answer. But, but it's just so cheap, like... It is so cheap, and it can devastate. Yeah. Yeah, if it was 300... Then I would yeah. have definitely said it was wrong. <laughs> but, but at a hundred, it's just its cheapest chips. Isn't it? Yeah, it's hard to argue against that, isn't it? I mean, the flings are one of the few teams where a bonus apo is just so little use because all the flings are crap. Which one are you going to save? Yeah. yeah, he went with the extra apo as well. He did go with an extra apo. So mm -hmm. like maybe the extra apo could have been Zara instead of Puggy. Yeah, I think too. Puggy doesn't bring much that this team didn't already have. Yeah, Puggy's just replacing a, uh, another block. He had a few block uh, halvings, didn't he? Yes, he did. Very much past tense. Because uh, he's Chunter and he always has block halvings. <laughs> and to be fair, he did apple a tree and he did apple a super fling, so he got, he got the yeah, use out of Yeah, he got value out of them. He certainly did. But, um... Yeah, it wasn't it just wasn't to be, was it? <laughs> Fair, the second half was closer than I was thinking. Yeah. Well, Chunter's always still a challenging coach, and Andre is sensible enough to give him enough respect for that. There was that chance he left right at the very start, but the tree failing that stand-up was brutal. Yeah. I, I think that uh, even that was a long out. shot. Yeah, long shot to get back in it, but since then Andre's <laughs> just tightened right up. <laughs> He hit a player, not the one with the ball, but he hit a player. It was good to see. Mm. We all got to see a half wing throw, that's all we're Yeah, we're on just random acts of violence. Ooh. Uh, you know, random acts of uh, violence, indeed. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Totally, yeah. Apple cover. yeah, the fact that his apple failed is just horrible, isn't it, really? Because if that apple had worked, you'd have been in with a shot, wouldn't you? Not much of a shot. Now he just bangs it in, surely, and then retreats because he's got no apo left, puts three stiffs on the line. Yeah. Just waits them to hand the ball back in a couple of turns. <laughs> yeah. I know it looks like we're taking a hit at the very least. No, we're stalling. I mean it's definitely a stall shape. Yeah. Yeah, we are stalling. I was looking for someone to uh, score with in that tree level but I don't think he has many players. No, if he goes to 68 on here then he's like, I guess he just thinks he's pretty close to him levelling again and he'll, he'll naturally level again if he makes two this game, whereas if he yeah. doesn't score on him then he's, you know, it delays him levelling doesn't it by not scoring on him rather than hoping the other games go so well that he could level somebody. Yeah, hand off somebody. again and level, yeah, yeah. Exactly. If your primary ball carrier can make it in one to two more touchdowns, that's probably sensible just to bang it in and say, OK, well, if I get through to the, what would that be, semi-final or quarter-final, mm. I'll have an extra skill by then. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, some, some games it just goes like this, doesn't it? Some games, stunties just get deleted every hit, seemingly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this happens in lose. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, easy triple power. Oh, he got one. He got one out of the three. Woo. Oh, and two more SPP. We're even close to level. <laughs> yeah, that was that was nice for him, wasn't it? Being fed <laughs> yep. SPPs. Now he's only two touchdowns away, so he could get that in the round of 16 match. And by the quarterfinals, he'll be on 76 and could roll dodge, right? Or, you know, I mean, yeah, if absolutely. He gets dodge, it's great. So. Finally get something useful and save all these normals. Well, even on a normal, there's always something that will be, you know, of some help. Yeah, probably, I wouldn't hate kick off return on him against Alex. Like yeah, <laughs> nothing else appears. You know, see who you're up against and see what else you think will be the most useful. Yeah, could could do like mid-tournament skills. 
extra arms he could, couldn't he? Because it gives you like the yep. other half of the edge that he's got with two heads. Yep. It's that big hand I can see getting some use too. Yeah. Oh, well, he's, oh, he is he's, doing the little parts. He's disregarded that. <laughs> and he handed off to this guy to level him. I think that is crazy. I guess it's okay, right? Well, it could be a guard or whatever. I think he shouldn't have passed back to his... Oh yeah, hand and... off and then go for the pass. Oh yeah, yeah. okay. That left it fucking late though, didn't he? That was crazy. Yes. He's like, it's I have... Good. Although I've... that means absolutely no risk. Yeah, true. Yeah, he's waiting for him to clear the pitch first, you know? But he didn't re-roll it, did he? He had one re-roll it. Did, didn't he re-roll? No, he I think it's for this to... Because he still had the pass to do. That was just a hand off. Yeah, but this is... And okay, and if you re-roll the pick-up, then you... Uh... Then, then you, you just score, bang it in and yeah. score. Yeah. But if you don't, then you yeah you do the pass. So we'll see the pass now. Or you just no, no you just bang it in. Okay. I mean, that's this. Well, I, I liked scoring on the on the ball carrier and then scoring two in the next game and then having having him level yeah. for the. He'll probably get MVP on him because life's like that. <laughs> but on the other yeah. hand, by scoring on him, of course, he does get an extra guard or whatever for the next game, which you know if he, he might lose yep. it, mightn't he? So. And this could be, a, it's, well, it's against Rick or Yak, isn't it? So I guess guaranteed yes. having a guarder against them. Especially if Rick's coming for your balls non-stop. That would um, be helpful. Again, it's just always helpful to be able to pick a skill. I mean, you know, maybe he'll look and see that they've got so much dodge that he just wants another tackle, even if it's blockless somewhere. Yeah. You know, interspersing it onto your line can still make dodging off other pieces tricky if that tackle slips that between them. Yeah. So there's ways that even a junk piece like that can be really useful in an elf matchup or a Kislev matchup. Although guard, if they're leaping in and taking your balls all the time, is you know hugely good, isn't it? Yeah. And of course, a normal roll on a beast. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty argument, good. Just gonna end the turn here, isn't he, Chunter? I guess he might punish to try and you know. Could. Uh throw a fling, see if he can hit someone important. I sort of feel you should. In a resurrection format, I'll concede as soon as the game is over and we can just stop wasting our lives. <laughs> um, if the you know, tiebreakers and things aren't important. But in a chalice game, I think you should take the hits. If there's hits to be had, I think it's honest and fair, particularly if the Apo's gone. Yeah. Plus, I just I like to leave a mark. <laughs> Oh well, not shame, for a long time. He tried a long time. <laughs> he tried for a halfling long time. And failed. So there you go. Commiserations, Chunter. Congratulations. Oh dear, well, look, I mean, this one of those games, I'm sure it felt awful to coach because it was just awful every turn in every way. <laughs> and it's kind of hard to think it, but you do wake up the next morning, well, at least I do, not worried about the game, but celebrating the run. You know, he did a fabulous run with those flings. And he got them through the round of 64. He got a win in Chalice with Flings. That's extraordinary. Yeah, yeah. congratulations. On so every congratulations one of your runs. Yeah. And uh, thank you very much, Muppet and PC, for joining us. Pleasure. No problem. And uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>